out with you. I have this vlogging. And so welcome to this first vlog of 2023. I took two weeks off over Christmas time and it's very much needed. I am feeling very refreshed. I'm feeling rested. I am feeling inspired and I'm feeling ready to go for 2023. The holidays were a mix of lots of doing, lots of lovely things, and then just some time just kind of like going with the flow, lots of being, lots of resting, lots of relaxing, and lots of reflecting as well. And I really feel like reflection comes from when we ground and when we slow down. It is a bank holiday. It's Monday the 2nd of January, but I am diving back into work today. And it just means that I can really like set the tone for the week. It means that I'm not then taking Monday's work and adding it on to Tuesday. And also because I've had two weeks off, my emails have been growing in size and comments and things. So it just means that I can then get back into work in a nice calm and gentle way rather than it being one that's then stressful. So yeah, today back to work. I'm teaching at the studio tonight as well and yeah I usually upload a vlog on a Monday it is Monday right now there is no vlog going live and the reason being is I have got no content to make a vlog I hardly captured any content so there's nothing to make a vlog with but I am also going to change the upload date of my weekly vlogs. I just feel like trying to get them done on a Monday is just adding on more stress than maybe is needed. Like they take a long time to edit and I just don't feel like the time is right for it to be on a Monday. So I'm just feeling like if I can maybe move it around, then I feel like that will flow better. And also if I run into any tech problems, then it just means I've got that time to kind of like sort it. And, and also if anything, I can then make sure that the video goes live at the same time every week. The reason I am sharing this with you is because I appreciate it as a viewer of other people's channels, as a subscriber, that I appreciate it when they share their upload schedules and then also then stick to them as well, because, you know, we sometimes, we had got it into a week, don't we? I know that it's like, there's some channels where I'm like, oh yeah, I can like have a cup of tea and watch that on a Monday or on, you know, whatever day. And so that is why I am sharing it with you. But I'm not sure what the day is gonna be yet, but I will know by the end of this vlog. just on my way to the gym. Since I last vlogged actually, I have joined a different gym. So the one that we were at before, people were really lovely, but just the environment was not right. It was not a vibe. Whereas this new place that we've joined, it's a vibe, the environment is everything. And I'm actually really loving doing workouts in the gym whereas before it was then just focusing more on swimming whereas I'm kind of like mixing things up and I was kind of in a state of mind before at the old place being like oh like, well, I've got to got to go and I don't like kind of approaching it that way I really like to approach it with the idea and the intention of like I get to like you know in this I get to look after my body I get to move my body and I just feel like I've just yeah, we connect with that, which is which is good. So anyway, this morning I am booked in for a personal training session. So I've been upper body focus and yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So let's get going. What you got on you? What's that? Look that. <laughs>
I've had lunch. I'm going to make a cup of tea now and read through all your lovely comments that you have left me over the Christmas holidays. I was planning on doing it this morning, but I ran out of time. So yeah, I'm gonna sit now, feeling calm, feeling peaceful and reply to all the comments. got some beautiful candles over Christmas time and I've just had like candles burning the whole time but whenever I come back home then I always put a candle on or some oil in the diffuser. There isn't any oil in the diffuser right now but I have put water in because I just like the, the look of it. It's all about creating the vibe, the environment and the atmosphere. I'm here for it. So back from the studio, I'm back at the studio again later this afternoon so I'm going to have some lunch. Feeling very grateful to my yesterday self for doing the food prep. <laughs> Yay, yesterday me. And I have actually just done some quinoa to go with it as well. And then I think I'm gonna watch Wednesday on Netflix. That is on my list of things to watch. Over the holidays, I watched Emily in Paris. I love Emily in Paris. Every time I've watched it, I just want to go and live in Paris. I just love it. And then I finished off watching the final season of Dead to Me. I, I don't want to spoil it in case like you're planning on watching it, but I love that. It was a hard watch as well. I felt very emotional watching it, but it's just such a good series. So if you're thinking of, if you're wanting to, some recommendations on what to watch, Emily in Paris, and dead to me and then I will let you know about Wednesday. I've just been going through different workshops and things and made some different study notes and this little pouch has got things like all kind of like gua sha, massage, things like that and so I'm just going to put my notes in there because I love to do my gua sha practice before I go to bed at night so popping everything in this little pouch and then that way I've got a little bit more of a plan to follow rather than kind of I suppose it's not just going with the flow because that's really important to be intuitive and to listen to your body however it's just kind of doing it with more intention okay with more intention I guess so yeah that's already to go I feel a little bit clearer about the kind of routine that I am doing and looking forward to doing that later was to work smarter not harder and reflecting on that I'm really happy with the changes that I implemented the things that I put in place the boundaries and I'm now reflecting on it a year on from when I set the intention and it's something that I still want to connect with. It's still like a vibe and energy that I want to welcome into my life. But of course, it's a year on, so things have naturally changed. So it's important to then, even if we do have the same intentions, to still reflect this practice of Svadhyaya in, in yoga. And reflecting on it now, there's some things that I know that I can just tweak slightly, so things just flow with more ease. So every day, my work is completely different and because of that and that variety which I love 
then it can sometimes mean mean that certain things that have to do with work flow better on other days and then suit my energy better in that way. So today being Wednesday, it just feels like a really good day to do my soul care club work because I haven't got to clock watch the same thinking that right, I've only got this amount of time before I need to leave to go down to the studio. And I always have enough time, but I don't know about you, but sometimes when I have then a restriction on time, I can't get into that flow state more. It kind of really affects the flow of my creativity, which is something like an energy that I definitely need when it comes to creating for my soul care club. And also that creativity for me really comes in the, in the morning. So say like Tuesday afternoon, for example, I've been at the studio teaching in the morning and then teaching again in the evening. That means that I have a window of time in the afternoon. Now I have more than enough time in the afternoon to do it, but I know that I would not be giving the best of me to my soul care club and to my lovely members if I did it at that time. And I feel as well, again, when I mentioned about the flow of when I am um, planning to upload my vlogs to YouTube. And it's important to me that I stick to my word, that I say I'm gonna release the videos when I upload them. And so I spent Monday just wasn't flowing quite right. So as the week's going on, I'm feeling like Thursday is a good day to, to do that, to, to do all the editing and then to allow the video to go out on Friday. But we'll see, that might change. It's only Wednesday right now, but just as the week's kind of going on, it's flowing and I'm like listening to my intuition. That's the kind of vibe that I'm feeling. So I don't know if you can relate to that. It's like just different times in the day when things just seem to flow that little bit better. One thing I did reflect on was that I had started to fall back into a habit of working a really long day. And yes, whilst I can do a 12 hour day, it's not a vibe or an energy that I want to welcome into my life. Like gone are the days when I used to thrive off that, that validation of being like really busy and being really stressed and actually seeing that success and productivity and inspiration and creativity doesn't come from burnout. Like burnout is not a vibe. It's not, it's certainly not a vibe that I'm wanting to embody or tap into anymore. It certainly was something that I did and then it was something that I was doing like unconsciously. But actually, you know, just taking like that time away, it gives me that fresh perspective to be like, hang on, like calling myself out of it here. I've fallen back into that habit. And actually I do have that control and that responsibility to make a change. Like I have that flexibility to just tweak things slightly. And that has a completely different effect on, on my energy for the, for the whole week and how I'm showing up in everyday life. So we really need to make sure that we're reflecting with the practice of sati, this truthfulness of getting honest with ourselves and also always doing it with a hymn service, compassion and this kindness and this self-forgiveness. You know, I mentioned that I have been working on, on that intention for a year. It's been a year on and it's still work to be done. Because as humans, we are constantly evolving, growing, changing and that means that we need to then welcome in this flexibility rather than being so rigid. So many of you, if you're watching this video when it goes live, might have set any goals and intentions for the new year. And what is important is that you're then not rigid with them in terms of like, still keep focused on the goal and the intention. However, how you show up, so, the, the behaviors, the habit that you're working on creating, that using January, or even if you're watching this, say, like later in the year, just using those first few weeks to kind of get into a flow, find out what works and what doesn't, because we can set that intention of what we're wanting to welcome into life, but it's like how, what, what we do daily is what's going to achieve it. So if you're met with a lot of resistance because it's just not quite flowing right, that might be the time, it might be the duration, it might be where you're doing it, it might be when you're doing it, 
then give yourself that permission to make that change. That is not about you then abandoning or giving up. If anything, it's like making it come true because what's the alternative? It just becomes unmanageable, unmanageable to be able to do it. And then you just give up, you don't do it. Then you're never going to manifest that intention and that dream, whatever it is that you're wanting to welcome in. And that is what I have allowed myself to do in this week, is to just kind of get into that new flow state, to be reflective, to not be so rigid. I know what I'm wanting to welcome in, that feel, that energy, that intention, that how I do it, that's what this week is all about, that exploration. And then next week, it will be then like putting it into, into place a little bit more. And, you know, just, yeah, it's okay to make those changes. Every moment you come into, you are then a new version of yourself. And it's, you know, just being that bit more flexible. I hope that helps. I am in this with you. These are all things that I practice myself. These are things that have worked as well. So just take what you need from them and, and leave the rest behind. And hmm. I, I just think like we owe it to life to make the most of it. And to allow our life to be a reflection of our, our desires and yeah, show up for life how you want to live it. But just know that that change is only going to come from you. No one can do it for you, but you can absolutely do it. So just allow yourself to like ride the waves of it rather than fight it, rather than resist it and just be flexible, be committed, be disciplined, be forgiving, be encouraging. Time for filming. I'm going to film the asana practice first and then I will do the philosophy and the meditation of cleanliness. Remember, you are human, we are human. We are here to make mistakes, we are here to learn, we are here to grow. And so when we if we just keep coming back to that, that just gives us that better depth and understanding of the meaning behind then purity and cleanliness as well filming is all done and editing and now i'm gonna go and have some lunch let's see where bert is in the house hey bert hey little bee hello have you made a little nest for yourself here so speaking of flexibility, we also need to be flexible in reflection of the season that we are in. So right now we are in winter and the days are shorter in terms of daylight, which means that sometimes the things that we have to do is then affected by that. So for example, in the winter time, I'm always like, I need to take Bert out when it's light. Um, and so that means that if it was like the summertime, I'd then be, a, I'd have like a bigger window to be able to take him out. Did you just hear what I said then? No, he didn't. That's all right. I tried to say it like take him out rather than take him for a... Um, but yeah, so that can then add its pressures on, which then means again, that we have to then maybe change the way that we do things depending on the season. However, I think we're just going to go for a street walk later. I've said the word. So again, flexibility with that. That's when sometimes we have to then just change the, the way that we do an intention. It's not about abandoning it all completely, but just sometimes just be that little bit more flexible. We as human beings need then more rest in the, the winter time, in the autumn. So that might be that, for example, if you have a asana practice in the morning, that it's a little bit shorter in, in autumn and winter due to the sun that's coming up later. That's something that I'm definitely embracing a lot more this year. I really have recognised that about myself, that I am needing more sleep in the autumn and winter. And I am letting that really guide then the flow of the day because obviously your energy levels are hugely affected by your sleep as well. There's a rainbow outside. Sorry, that's completely random, but it's a little rainbow. Yeah, I guess the, the theme for this little chat is flexibility. Flexibility in, in how we show up.
Can you see the? This one. Are you nice and comfy? Sorry, let me put that back so it's a little chin mask for you. There is so much more that I wanted to chat to you about, but at risk of this vlog then turning into a movie, I am going to save those things for another vlog or another video. I wanted to kind of go through things like how I use a planner, a new planner, and then journals and things just to just to help with the start of the new year. So just like things that I've found that work for me and I just wanted to share that in hopes that they help you too. I mean, it's not just stuff for the, the new year, it is throughout the year, so you can definitely wait until another video. Since giving myself the opportunity to go with the flow more and make slight changes to my routine, has definitely paid off like I feel much more in a flow state with it now and just by changing when I do, do things just has hugely affected how I feel and today is Thursday and normally I would start to be feeling burnout as the week is going on but my energy levels just feel completely different and this is not me you know, it's, it's not like I have cut something out of what I'm doing. I've simply just changed the when I do it. And yeah, just changing that when slightly has made all the difference. Vlogs, they are going to go live on a Friday because Thursday is going to be my vlogging editing day. And that means that I can have the vlogs go out at the same time every single Friday. So I'm going to have them going out at 6 a.m on a Friday morning and yeah, really feeling happy with the decision that I have made with that and that I've come to then the conclusion of when it was, because I said at the start of the, the vlog, like I wasn't sure when it was going to be, um, but yes, giving myself the space to find out the answer to that and that is the answer to that question. So next week's video is going to be all around kind of using stationary I guess journals planners to really help you flow through 2023 yeah thank you so much for hanging out with me I have really missed hanging out with you really missed vlogging and yeah I feel the vibes are high because I've reconnected with something that I am really passionate about so I'm gonna end this vlog here I am sending you lots of love, peace and happiness for 2023 and thank you for being here and for hanging out with me.